It is Friday, so happy Friday, everyone. I just dropped Briley off at school, and it's a great little experience. They love it. I walked her up to the actual door this time, so just dropped her off at the bottom of the hill, and she just thought it was awesome. So fun to do. If you get the chance to do that with your kids, you know, they just they just love it. So anyway, just wanted to share. Awesome. The story came up at dinner the other night about <clears throat> racing, and so I thought I'd tell you guys because it's another one of those silly stories from high school. It's oddly not about football. It's actually about track to a degree. Now, I think I could have been a distance runner. I was the build for it, for sure. But for some reason, it just wasn't, it wasn't my thing at the time. I kind of wish I did now, but... But I had a friend, Sam, who's in the, who's an army surgeon now, and uh, he definitely was a runner. He used to do Ironman Kids, and still is a runner, and winning triathlons and things right now. So he's uh, almost 40 years old, and killing it. Um, still in the best shape of anyone, I think, in our school, um, from our grade. But anyway, we, I was very competitive, and so I had gym class before him, and every year, you know, you did that mile run. Well, most people walked it almost. You know, a lot of kids, you had to like, at least at our school, you had the mile annual run. If you walked it fast, you could probably get it in 15 minutes, and you had to get it done within 15 minutes. Of course, I didn't. I, uh, I, I ran it um, to see what time I could get. It's like, I'm gonna beat Sam this year. I was gonna try to run it backwards or something. I should be able to beat this guy with him running backwards. I went all out. I ran as fast as I could. And for some reason, I think I think it was like a seven minute, 19 second time, which I know sounds not good for anyone that's a runner. But I think for someone who never runs a mile, that's probably pretty good. So I could be lying there. Don't fact check me. <laughs> but that just stuck in my head. Then I told like the coach, don't tell Sam, because he had gym class after me. And DeBrav was like, okay, I won't tell him. And then like, I told everyone like, don't say anything to Sam. So no one did. And then Sam got there and true to form, Burkett messing around, starts running it backwards. The story in my mind goes that he ran three laps completely backwards. And then coach DeBrav said something like on lap three, he kind of said, hey, Zach went all out. He's trying to beat you. Which of course, Sam took as a challenge. He turned around and he went balls out balls out, balls out, balls out. That sounds bad. He went all out, <laughs> beat me. This is a guy that runs a four minute, well almost four minute mile. I think in high school he ran a 419, he told me. Cause I fact checked the story a little bit with him to see if I was making this up in my head. All I know is that he beat my 719 and that's pretty good for running backwards three laps and then turning around and running the, the last one straight out. That's my uh, track story. I still have never beaten Sam in the in a race. Although he's a triathlon runner now, so I don't think that's gonna work either. Okay, I will relate something to football. I just wanna say, I don't know if it still holds, it probably doesn't, but at the time when I was there, I may have not been a starter at Iowa State or ever get in a game, but I did have the fastest punter kicker 40 yard dash. Little, I got about three minutes to get to work. I'm gonna play a little Somewhere by the Heroes Band. Um, that is Mike Butterworth's band um, that is no longer uh, because he's with the Nottas still and, and stopped this to continue with the Nottas or whatever. But one of my favorite songs, here we go. Getting late and the rain is pouring. It's time to close my eyes. I'm leaving in the morning. There's something out there that's calling me. Yeah, I'm a little scared of what it might be. So actually, that is Tony Bonencamp singing here. He used to be on the Nadas back in the day. He also was in a band called Lunchbox back when I was a freshman in college at Iowa State. And so uh they got together and he was their drummer. He's an all around great musician, can do about any instrument. 
um, have seen him at a wedding do um, the whole show just a piano uh, reception I mean so anyway good song let's get back to it Trying to find a different place somewhere I don't know where Going somewhere Cause I've never been there Going somewhere I don't know where But at least I'm going somewhere It's a funny way of seeing things that I can't see a funny way of showing Going somewhere Oh, I don't think I hit that one. <laughs> Somewhere. Woo. I don't know if I'm hitting those notes. <laughs> All right, I think I found a new segment called Listen to Zach Butcher a Song. <laughs> it's going to be epic. I hope I got some of that. I know that would probably drive people crazy, and plus, I don't have good pitch and tone, so it's gonna be, this, this is gonna be interesting. I'm sticking to it. Yeah, thanks for listening. Have fun, be good.